What's up, everybody? Hey, this is Craig. I uh, wanted to tie in with you, giving you a little ride along home with me on my way home on this fine Saturday afternoon. I uh, wanted to give you some updates on some things. Uh, a lot of you know that over the past year, year and a half, I've, uh, I've been a sports blogger, primarily writing about the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, here in the background, you hear me rocking out to Time Warp Weekend on the way home from work. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, about a year and a half ago, I launched a site called uh, Bengal Nation Daily, and I developed a, a decent readership on it. Uh, not a big readership, but a nice little group of, you know, core group of readers. Um, nice. Okay, sorry. Um, you have to stop when jump comes on. <laughs> anyway, uh, Bengal Nation Daily is where I was. A uh, nice little group, core group of readers, uh, faithful readers, actually who followed me to my new endeavor. Uh, and and a couple people have commented and such. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a great experience for me. But it, it got to the point where it just seemed like it was getting too big for me. Uh, it's a big undertaking for one person to have uh, to try to uh, faithfully write on a regular basis uh, content that's going to engage your readers and such. So uh, during my time writing Bengal Nation Daily, <coughs> excuse me, I, uh, I developed a few contacts, one of which was Josh Kirkendall uh, over at CincyJungle.com. For a long period of time, he, uh, he, was, he was trying real hard to recruit me as part of his team. So uh, about six months ago, uh, I went ahead and told him that I would like to join the Cincy Jungle team. I had let Bengal Nation ga Daily uh, go by the wayside, and uh, I was starting to really miss writing about the Bengals. So I... Um, I joined Cincy Jungle, and uh, a couple short months after that, Josh promoted me to site editor uh, because of my elite grammar Nazi skills. Um, I'm hypersensitive about grammar and spelling. It's something that is one of my absolute pet peeves. Wrong tenses, wrong spelling, stuff like that. So uh, for the past three or four months, I've been acting as the site editor. Most of the other writing team, uh, they, they send me their work before they publish. And... If I'm not around the computer, I'll just edit it on my iPhone and shoot it back to them in an email, and then they'll uh, go ahead and publish it themselves. But uh, here, in, in a, about a month or so ago, uh, Josh approached me, and uh, he made me the co-site manager. So it, it's actually been a very exciting time for me. Um, you know, it, it was great. Our, our readership has exploded over at Cincy Jungle. A uh, big part of that was the Bengals going to the playoffs this year. And uh, it, it's really been a lot of fun to write about looking forward to getting into the off-season work as far as uh, draft research and going and checking out, um, you know, mock drafts, uh, real good mock drafts over at WalterFootball.com. Actually, if you're, uh, if you're cruising around the net looking for a really early look at what's, uh, what's going to be coming at us in April. But um, anyway, uh, one of the things that I'm really excited about uh, that I'm getting ready to undertake right now for Cincy Jungle is a podcast. Um, I'm working on forming a Cincy Jungle podcast, and um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about it, um, listening to some established podcasts that are already there in circulation, uh, ones that have a, a good following around them and are successful. Uh, one of them that I've gotten turned on to recently that I really enjoy a lot is uh, Will Wheaton's podcast, Radio Free Burrito, and uh, it's really a good listen. If you have an opportunity, you can look it up on iTunes. It's in the uh, in the iTunes directory for podcasts. I believe right now it's listed under new and notable. Uh, it really is a great read. He, he's he's very engaging, uh, very casual, and uh, you know good content. He, he does a great job mixing uh, music that you probably haven't heard before in there. Uh, it's just it, it's overall a really nice setup. And I've been listening to that one and, you know, trying to listen to some of the other Bengals-related podcasts out there, uh, trying to figure out exactly what angle I want to attack with this endeavor of mine. Um, looking at, you know, other people to get involved with me, I've, I've spoken with my younger brother, Kevin, about it. Uh, Kevin is very good with anything media-related. He's a big geek like I am. And uh, I think I'm going to involve him. Uh, matter of fact, I think we're going to give it a run at making him my on-air partner. Uh, he and I have a, a really good 
Um, we have a great relationship. We're, we're closest friends, and uh, we've got a similar style of humor and so on and so forth. And I think it would be an asset to have him on air with me. So we're going to give that a shot. Um, you know, we're going to see where we can get as far as having uh, you know people close to the Bengals in as special guests from time to time. And I know uh, some of the other blogs in the SB Nation community, uh, they actually do, you know, uh, like a live podcast where they'll dedicate, you know, maybe 20, 30 minutes once they've talked about, you know, uh, current events or things looking forward. Uh, nice pace, dude. Um, they will, uh, they'll actually have people call in and, and ask questions. Uh, so that's something else we're knocking around. Josh and I have had some... Uh, some talk about it, and uh, I've, I've just been spending a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what format I want to use. Uh, so that will be coming between now and the draft in April. Uh, of course, the draft this year, uh, Commissioner Goodell moved it into prime time. Uh, so if I recall correctly, April 22nd, uh, I think it's 7 o'clock, round one will be on. That's a Thursday. Uh, round two and three will be on that Friday night, the 23rd of April, and then uh, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, they'll do rounds four, five, six, and seven. Uh, so that'll be a new format. Um, I, I don't know how I really feel about it at this particular juncture. Uh, it's definitely going to be an adjustment trying to, you know, really focus on things and cover a whole weekend of the draft when you're looking at weeknights that are involved in a, in a prime time schedule. Uh, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to do my best, like I said, to have this thing up and running between now and then so that uh, we can do some podcast coverage along with the, uh, with the text base and, and, and article-based uh, coverage that, that we're already planning for Cincy Jungle's draft coverage. Um, I'm, I'm looking at a couple people that we may be able to bring on that, that specialize in analyzing the draft. Uh, so we're really kind of at an exciting time uh, in the Cincy Jungle uh, arena. So anyway, um, I'm almost home now, and I wanted to just spend a couple minutes with you and let you know what kind of the climate is right now. So I hope you have enjoyed my very impromptu and casual um, video blog here for you, and I hope to talk to you soon. Uh, let me know in the comments, if anybody's watching this, let me know in the comments uh, how you feel about, you know, how this was. Uh, if you like the kind of casual, not really me looking or talking at the camera, but just kind of spending a minute with me as I go about my business and, and just kind of spitballing and letting you know uh, what's going on and where we're at on some things. Uh, if you like this format, that's great. I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. Uh, if you really don't care for it, um, I probably will see that in, in the number of uh, hits that we get on this video. But uh, thanks for spending about five minutes with me, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Craig out.